This is the other book that I mentioned on the Hangout, um, which again I had seen on um, International Scale Modelers Hangout a uh, fairly long ago. Um, it's produced by AK Interactive, um, and basically I would describe it as being um, a bible of how to construct dioramas. Um, it's big, um, over 560 pages, I think, from memory, 560, yeah. Um, like all of their other books, superbly put together. Um, if we look at the contents page, So um, the author covers uh, bases, ground, terrain, vegetation, artificial elements, miscellaneous, figures, construction atmosphere, and the sort of common mistakes that uh, you make if you're entering shows or contests. Um, I say it's broken down into sections, but the, the, the detail that it goes into is just amazing. Um, so things like this theory of composition, it seems to believe in, in a thing of planning how a diorama will look so that um, you achieve an effect that you don't have one object blocking an R object, this type of thing. Um, so there are various different ways of looking at uh, raising a, a, a diorama off the surface, that type of thing. Um, then he looks at uh, composition in the round, so if you have a view from one direction, does it work uh, when you switch around 180 degrees and so on? Um, square composition, which seems to be more that uh, you view the thing from one angle. And it moves on to techniques. So, um, bases using um, clay and uh, different materials to build up a base, um, road surfaces, dunes techniques to do it. Based with more than one level using uh, poly polyfoam and so on. How to use stone, make effects on the side of bases. So everything is covered, every single aspect. Then he moves on to uh, earth and terrain. So all different types of natural terrain. Desert roads, Route 66, which is sort of a, a American um, gas stop with a vehicle outside it. Muddy roads using water and so on, water effects. Mud puddles. Dry and wet ground, different uh, types of um, surface material. Rocky flat terrain, vegetation, different times of year, springtime. Using natural materials. Making rocks from moulds. On and on and on, massive amounts of information. As asphalt roads, how do you paint them, finish them? Rough roads, roads with damage, oil stains, different textures of roads, cobblestones. Scratch building concrete using plaster. Scratch building using foam. Different painting with that then. They're in a, in a area. Oil cans, pieces of wood, bricks, you name it. So now I'm in 140, 
40 pages in, and we're still only a third of the way through the book. Sorry, a quarter of the way through the book. Craters, sink marks and roads using cork and so on. Amazing, amazing stuff. Damp stains, little puddles, puddles in the muddy ground, an oasis in the desert with water effects at the bottom, running water in ditches, maybe some of the vegetation which it covers in great, great detail, grasses. Plants make them look as if they're being blown by wind. Metal foil for plants. Shrubs and bushes using paper. Pre-printed vines. Natural vines. Yeah, everything seems to be covered in example trees. Different tree effects. Using washes on trees, making trees with metal wire. Palm trees. Painting trees. Leaves on the surface. Even making mushrooms. Tropical palms, all sorts of vegetation. A helicopter diorama with a tree. Fantastically realistic stuff. So, street lamps. Painting, rusting, so on. Just all street lamps in this section. Power poles, broken power poles, wooden metal power poles, metal power line supports. These different countries around the world. Electrical towers, concrete bases, signage, stone signposts, wood signs, wooden signs with concrete bases. Just over the halfway mark in the book now. More traffic signs, temporary traffic signs, wooden sheds, buildings. Partially burned sheds. This is a gas station, which is the uh, road, uh, Route 66 diorama. Brick walls. Painted brick walls. Corner of buildings using the diorama. Church facade, more modern buildings, on and on and on. Great inspiration for ideas for dioramas as well. Bunkers again. Doors with glass broken and not broken. Metal doors. Roll up doors. Wooden doors. More doors. Blinds. Shutters.
I get it, Roofs? She's got Roofs. Tailed Roofs. Really, everything you can think of that you would need to um, be able to do for diorama. Patios, balconies, and this, and this is all sort of things that you would see in a, a Eastern, far Eastern rugs, and for shop use, barriers. Barrels, boxes, crates, drink crates, posters. Tarpaulins, vending machines, pallets, fences, a little bit of figures. I can incorporate them into a diorama. The balance of figures in the diorama. Integrating the um, figures into the diorama so the tones are the same. Final assembly. Adding atmosphere with little details and accessories. Seasons are covered as well. Autumn, winter, spring, summer. Finally, ending off with um, common mistakes things you avoid doing, and then the gallery at the end. So, gallery, World War II Germany. All these samples show the kind of work that's been put into them. So, say, superb um, book, uh, not cheap. Um, it seems to be some places at £75. I found it for £65 from a company called Panzer Rex um, in the UK, delivered. Um, I'll put a link for Panzer X at the bottom of the video. Um, but for anyone interested in doing dioramas, planning to do dioramas, uh, improving their techniques in dioramas, really, really recommend the book. Uh, expensive, but I think considering what you get for the money, it's good value.